kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, you know, it, 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 and it's a very small place. So... I'm going to try to find one that this is one that's for rent. Then let's see here. All right. So we got a one in the 48228, 45 cash only. So we have. Let's look over here. The photo, the photo link does not work. And that that's a key. Like if you're gonna post a deal in here, make sure your links work. All right. So newly vinyl windows throughout, two water tanks and furnaces. Use will will be provided at closing. Okay, so the water tank and furnaces are are taken out because they don't want to be stolen. Uh, new Plex, new Pex plumbing, new electrical renovation started, but never completed. Uh, selling it as is. So I'd really have to see exactly how far in. Okay. They're saying ARV is 128 to 133. Okay. So let's just do a, because this is probably going to be a buy and hold situation. All right. So at 45, we're going to do forty five thousand. Okay. All cash and rehab costs let's see what the rehab cost they're they're trying to estimate i'm going by their numbers here all right we can run they have they have comps already here i i'd have to see if those comps are actually valid to be honest um but based on the outside let's see here this is great opportunity. This is a two bedroom, one bath each unit. So it's a duplex. All right. So let's put rehab at, let's put it at 30,000. Okay. Closing costs, let's put it at 2,400. Okay. Mortgage payment's gonna be zero. All right, and so with rent for a two bedroom, we're gonna say it's probably gonna be about 900. Uh, so 900 times two, we're gonna be at, um, we're gonna be at 1800. Okay, so on that being said, the taxes on this property, I'm gonna estimate the taxes to be right around 2,500. It might be less, it might be more. Don't know that yet. Um, one second here, Let me go back. Insurance, we're probably going to be at like 1200 a year. Okay. So. 
let's bring up the calculator. And if you look on here on the calculator, uh, so I did 45, the purchase price is 45,000. The down payment is, uh, it because this is all cash, it sticks to 45,000. The rehab cost will be roughly 30,000, okay? Uh, closing costs roughly 2,400, okay? So we have the, the mortgage payment, this is right now we have this set at zero because it's going to be an all cash deal. Market rents would be 1800 because it's a duplex, 900 per unit, two units, not, you know, that'd be 1800. Uh, we are taking a 10% out for management, 5% for vacancy, 5% for capital expenditures. Uh, for the taxes, I'm estimating about 2500. It might be lower because it's in Detroit. I, I, I'd really have to look that up. And in order to do that, I can go over here to this link. Uh, but I want to get through more deals here. Insurance, um, I'm estimating right about $1,200 a month. It, if you have more deals, you can get that cheaper. All right. So it looks like estimated cash flow is about uh, $1,131.67 per month. Okay, so we're working on about a 17.5% cash on cash return. That is a pretty, I, I think at 45,000, okay, that works. If somebody comes in and does 40, that's 40,000 that comes in at 18.76%. You know, um, I think that will work. It really just does depend on the rehab estimate. I would be able to gauge a little bit more if their uh, photos link worked. Always got to check your photos link. Um, I'm not going to go private messaging everybody, uh, you know, checking the photos link. Um, and they may even came back, come back and say, oh, no, this only needs about 10 grand worth of work. How do I know that? You know, I don't know if the person did the work pri previously, okay? Um, if the person did that did the work previously just did not, uh, did not do a good job or if they, you know, what was the issue? So what was the issue they didn't run out of work? I have no idea. So, um, something like that is where you gotta you really have to check it out let's see if i can find another one this one is on on 9275 uh appaline street by the way um i think at 45 it could be a deal okay uh you're gonna be all in let's see you're gonna be all in total investment for 72.4 and if, if you wanted to burr that out 100%, uh, you can easily do that. Or if you just wanted to keep earning the cash on cash return. Um, I think that's a good deal, I, especially because it's a brick house. Okay, we sh we, I showed you the, pic the front picture of it. Um, it, is a, it is a brick house. And uh, whether that's a decent area, let me, let me check on that real quick. Um, another thing that people need to realize, okay, so the, this is in, it's an okay area. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's in an okay area. Um, it's not too bad but it's not the best either all right um it's the 48228 uh and the downfall that you're gonna have is it it looked like there was um some uh vacant properties right next door to uh to each side of it so you know that that's also a downfall all right uh with that being said um, like I said, I think, I think for 
40, it's a great deal. For 45, it's an okay deal. That's my opinion. So for the right buyer, honestly, I think if a out of state buyer can come in here and actually do this, um, 100%, I believe that they can come in here and do this if they have a team. Okay. Uh, with that being said, we are going to, I'm going to bring that down and so that that's a few of the deal that that's one of the deals that we went through. Okay. Um, one of the scenarios that I see other wholesalers bringing me deals with is they're on market. I have nothing against on market. Buyers have nothing against on market, but it still has to be a deal. If you come at, if you come and say, Hey, I have a property. It's $75,000. Okay. It needs some work. And ARV is 155. Okay. These are your numbers. I look it up and it's on the market for 69, 69,000. You think I'm going to pay over what it's on the market for? Also, it's been on the market for 200 plus days. It's not a deal. Okay. It's just not a deal. So if the biggest buy the biggest buyers market or the biggest buyers pool out there is saying it's not a deal, then it's probably not a deal. That biggest buyers pool is the MLS. I will honestly wholeheartedly say that. All right. But at the same point, not everybody's looking on the MLS for deals. I agree that you can find decent deals on the MLS for wholesale deals. But whatever you're trying to sell it for has to be under the, the listing price. Here's another issue that you have is when you talk with the, the seller, you say you submit your offer, okay, and they accept it. I'll use these numbers for example, because there was a, a, a situation that, that happened. They're asking 49.9. You offer them 26. Okay. They accept it. What do they do? They bring the price online. They say it's pending, but they bring that price from 49 down to 26 on exactly what, what they accepted from you. Well, guess what? Now your buyer is going to wonder exactly what's going on because the days on the market does not change. The days on market does not change whatsoever. So now you're going to have a very hard time selling that deal, even if you're just trying to sell it for 35. And these were, there were a couple of wholesalers that I did advise this. And as soon as we saw that it went, um, it lowered the price on listing, I would, I told them to go back to them and, and tell them, sorry, we cannot do business at this moment because of what you did. My investors feel like they're not getting a deal. I blah, 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 this, that. Um, and you know, you kind of take it from there. You have, you have to learn from that. When talking with agents as well, you have to let them know, Hey, this is my plan or this is what we are doing. I'm, I'm working with finance partners. I'm doing this we get this in there this either has to go as pending or in, but the price can't change as far as what is being listed at so you learn from every single deal that you do and as long as you every deal that you do you just keep compounding on what you're learning okay so anybody out there that has had any of these issues please put them in the chat. Let me know. And, you know, kind of go from there. I don't know how long uh, today is going to be, but, um, you know, we're probably not going to be going for very long. Uh, it depends on how much interaction we get in here. So anybody wants to come in here and do some, um, 
some role playing, by all means, let me know, and we can we can definitely do that. So um, I am going to put the link in the chat again, and for anybody else that is watching. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 